Good evening and welcome to Poland Daily. I'm Nicholas Richardson and this is the news. The number of those infected with the coronavirus has risen to 325, the Polish Ministry of Health has reported. Łukasz Szymowski, the Minister of Health, appealed to those who might be infected not to report to emergency rooms in person, since this may increase the risk of infecting medical staff. We have been alarmed by the frequent instances of visits to regular hospital emergency rooms by persons infected with the coronavirus and their interaction with medical staff who are caught off guard by this irresponsible behaviour. Maybe saying frequent is a bit of an exaggeration, but unfortunately it does happen. I have appealed to all, do not withhold the information that you might be infected. Please do not go to the clinic or an emergency room when you know that you might be ill with coronavirus. Please go to the infectious hospital and allow yourself to be tested. That is the proper behaviour. After hospital triage, the personnel will make a decision whether you need to be hospitalised. We have plenty of capacity in the hospitals at the moment, and if you are required to stay, you will be placed in the infectious diseases ward immediately. If you withhold the information that you might be infected with coronavirus, and you go to the regular emergency room at a regular hospital, unfortunately, because of such irresponsible behaviour, the medical staff might become infected, as well as other patients. Here I make an important appeal. Do not hide if you have the infection. Following today's emergency meeting of the Cabinet Council, President Andrzej Duda appealed to people to remain responsible, empathetic and unified, especially towards older people who are the most vulnerable to the coronavirus infection. The situation, as everyone knows by now, is very difficult. We don't know for how much longer it will continue, but we have to assume that there will be many more cases of infection, since that's just how it is around the world. Of course, we're doing everything we can to limit the spread of the virus. Nonetheless, I appeal to you once again to be extremely careful and to show especially more empathy towards those who are lonely, the elderly. Please, ask them if they need groceries and if you do end up helping them, remember to deliver the groceries in a safe manner, avoiding any unnecessary contact. Next week the same, the lower house of the Polish parliament will work on the anti-crisis shield, a programme of measures to protect Poles, the economy and workplaces from the worst effects of the economic crisis caused by the coronavirus pandemic. According to economists, the government's programme is necessary, but given the unpredictability of the situation, may not be sufficient. The anti-crisis shield is divided into five pillars. Employee safety, worth 30 billion zloty. Corporate financing, worth 74 billion zloty. Health protection, worth 7.5 billion zloty. Strengthening the financial system, worth over 70 billion zloty. And the public investment programme, worth 30 billion zloty. There will be the possibility to hold off this payment and then to pay it in instalments because it will be very hard to pay the whole amount at once. The program will guarantee loans in accordance with the de minimis criteria. This means that many businessmen will be able to take out a cheap loan in order to maintain financial liquidity. Aside from the anti-crisis shield, the National Bank of Poland reduced interest rates for the first time in five years. This package of measures is very extensive, especially at this stage of the crisis. Other Western countries have bigger crises and their actions are much smaller. Let's be optimistic, we are going to get through this. Minister of Family, Labour and Social Policy, Marlena Molong, gave assurances that other social programmes, for example the 500 plus programme, will be carried out. In addition, she presented a support proposal for businessmen. We want to take care of businessmen who have financial problems. The state will cover 40% of the average salaries and the employer will cover the other 40% at least. According to economist Arta Bartoszewicz, in the face of this economic crisis, government action may prove to be insufficient. In general, these actions are very good. But we are lacking two elements, constant support and creating a much better interest-bearing dementia mechanism, but also conducting coronavirus research. The assistance package for the businessmen is to be adopted by the same next week. 
The NGO, Doctors Without Borders, warns that a coronavirus outbreak in the Moria migrant camp on the island of Lesbos in Greece would spread very quickly because of the overcrowding, insanitary conditions and the lack of a proper plan to tackle the virus. The head of Doctors Without Borders in Greece, Stefan Oberreit, said that Moria, Europe's largest asylum centre, is a perfect situation for an outbreak. Given the situation of the Moria camp, with this 22,000 22, people packed into a very, very small area, the promiscuity and the lack of hygiene in the camp is a perfect situation for an outbreak. Now, we all know that COVID-19 is very infectious. All health authorities are saying, wash your hands, stay in isolation. How do you want this to happen in Moria camp? There's no place to wash your hands, let alone several times a day. And how about isolation when everybody is packed into camps, uh, tents and containers? Abba Wright accused the Greek government of not providing either a comprehensive plan to tackle the epidemic if it breaks out in the camps or to prevent an outbreak. He called for the immediate evacuation of the migrants from the island camps. So we're extremely worried about this situation and extremely worried that there's not really a plan of how to tackle uh, uh, the epidemic if it breaks out and also how to prevent it. And to prevent it, there's only one way, is to evacuate the camp. The Maria camp houses more than 22,000 migrants, despite being constructed to house only 3,000. So far, Greece has reported 352 confirmed cases of infection and four fatalities. Health authorities expect the number of infections to rise. That's the news. Thank you for watching. Stay with us for the weather, Poland Daily Business and more programmes. But from me, it's have a good night and a better tomorrow.